I have an entire uh, Misfit Toys decor going on. So I'm a little, I'm a little sweet on this guy right here. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's two of them. Oh my gosh. Cute little Lilo and Stitch mini backpack for eight bucks. Uh, this is a King's Crown or also known as inverted thumbprint. Boy, that looks like some really nice fabric. I don't know, you might see them over there in the distance. The creme de la creme. Stand by. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, as you can see, the sun is gone, but that happens pretty darn early these days. But I am at Goodwill at the end of a weekend. And I'm curious, now I'm told, <laughs> I'm curious, I'm told, uh, that they do restock six days a week. And like, I think they said Thursdays are the only day they don't restock. So I haven't been going out on Thursdays because of that. So I'm gonna see if they've put some new stuff on the shelves. It's not that late. It should have just happened. So let's get in there and see what treasures we can find. Let's get shop done. Oh, the pretty good will sign. Let's go in and pick out our lucky cart, which I think is gonna be this one. This one's calling me. That's the one. Orange is still our color. There is a forest of Christmas trees here. I don't know why I didn't come here first. Wait, let's check the prices. It's here and see. Oh, as is. So they sell them as is, but who knows what that means. Can you try them out? No lights. Yeah, a lot of them don't have lights. So that's usually the reason people get rid of a tree. All right, let's see what's on the little Christmas shelves. He's really cute. He's a little candle holder snowman. He's newer. Kind of neat uh, stocking holders. We're almost at the point already where things are, that's it. Like we've got maybe another week of being able to get things in the mail for Christmas. Oh, I really like this. I really like this little advent. I guess it's an advent calendar, isn't it? Days till Christmas. Ooh, I do like this. The thing is, here's the thing, there's no stopper. So how easy would it be to like have this like just go all cattywampus? Oh, this is one of like their new yellow tag items. He is really cute though. But I was coming down here to look at this advent wreath candle holder. One, two, three, four, five. It has five places to put a candle. Let's see if there is a signature on this somewhere. It looks like it could be. I sold the other little advent wreath that I had, which is making me think maybe I should get this one. It's glass, it's nice, it's $5.99. I think I will. We're looking up on top too at all the larger items that they put up there. Sometimes there can be some pretty fun stuff. We've got some wise guys there, but no Jesus. I like these puffy little uh, gift ornaments, but we don't need any more ornaments on the tree. We've got our birdies on there. We didn't even put all of our birdies because I got a much smaller tree. So there wasn't even room for all of our ornaments. Ah, darn it. I wonder what he does. It's a Jemmy, and it's the, you know, Misfit Toys, Abominable Snowman. I, I haven't showed you my outdoor decorations yet, have I? I have an entire uh, Misfit Toys decor going on. So I'm a little, I'm a little sweet on this guy right here. For $2.99, I think he's coming with me, and we're going to get some batteries in him. When I get home, I will put the batteries in, and at the end of this video, I'll show you what he does. 
It's getting into here. Musical wind chime fireplace battery operated. See, I bet that probably sells for some decent money. It's bigger than I want to deal with, but I do have to look it up when I'm editing this video. Let's see. Give thanks. Got some Boyd's Bears in here. Little Christmas tree. Okay, nothing else too exciting. Okay, am I the only one that has to press these? I have to press and see if they work. He's also not working. Which is another reason people tend to donate this stuff. Like, instead of changing the batteries, they just get rid of it. They put it aside and then they get tired of it and then it's gone and it comes to Goodwill. And then somebody else will put batteries in it and it'll be good as new. All right, this is their second aisle of Christmas stuff. Ooh, that's Peter Pan. Just think of a wonderful thought, Neverland. Ah, for $3.99? We're getting that one. That might actually end up as a Christmas present for Jordan. She has a fondness for Peter Pan, and I can't remember if it was last year or the year before I gave her a Peter Pan print on canvas by a really famous artist and it's really fun to see that up on her wall she does treasure it so kind of still on the uh, the old Peter Pan uh, kick with her so it's a possibility it's a possibility if I don't find you know something else <laughs> but I can always always sell a mug like bah humpug that's pretty funny too $2.99. I think we'll leave him, but he's funny. All right, clear glass. Let us see what we can find. These kind of look like a princess house crystal. I don't think they are. And they're not super high quality. All right, nothing there. Just nothing there at all. Okay, so this was still spelled this way the last time I was here where somebody put sus <laughs> together and it's been left. It's a hit. Okay, I'm looking over here. I see this guy. It's a San Jose del Cabo from Mexico. It is a Tanala pottery, I believe this one is. This one almost fools me because it's not traditional Tanala and it's not traditional Talavera. Um, so now I, I like, I wonder which one it is. Unfortunately, it's got that on it and that tends to lower the resell abilities. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that one, but one's pretty. We're gonna keep going and see what else we can find. Like, you know, a big, silver squash wow it's just a big silver squash and there's his silver squash friend i do believe these are mikasa yep there it is mikasa home accents they're pretty nice quality four of them but they want four dollars each and that's just too much to pay for resale okay i see something that is gonna wrestle with my sensibilities I, could I find room for just one more glass pumpkin? <laughs> I don't have a green glass pumpkin. This would be in like a night. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Oh my gosh. I have to, I have to do it. Those are like 25 bucks at home goods. Gotta, I gotta get the bargain. Cute little, cute little bunny. Who makes you? You've got an older tag actually the heritage collection gans brothers mm. looks like a vintage tag to me but i'm really trying to stay away from the plush as much as i do love picking it up just right now i have a lot of plush to deal with and then there is a blue frog yard guy 10 bucks though i don't think i can do that for 10 dollars, but he is pretty cool Looks like they just brought out a whole bunch of books, so 
Hey, maybe they'll still bring out a cart of stuff while I'm here. That'd be pretty cool. It could happen. It could definitely happen. Oh, look at that. There's a little poo on the shelf. Nothing like a little poo on the shelf. Somebody's little hand-painted art. That's quite pretty. Oh, what are you? Little linen duck. A linen, oh, your basket is empty. You're cute. But again, no plush. Arctic enchantment. What are those? Oh, they're Santa Clauses. Santa Claus salt and peppers. Got it. Yeah. I'm going to be very careful about the limited uh, time I have for selling Christmas stuff and getting it shipped out. He's cute. I am going to be doing a cat sale coming up sometime in the very near future. That is going to happen over on the Niche Shopping Network channel. That is my new live sale channel that is not just me, but I have joined forces with some pretty amazing resellers. So I hope you will come on over, check it out. It's nicheshoppingnetwork.com. We'll take you right there. And we've got all kinds of fun stuff planned throughout the weeks. We try to get those events all scheduled up ahead of time. I like him. He would go with my polar bears, you know. He really would. Okay, I gotta get him. But as I was saying, <laughs> nicheshoppingnetwork.com. I used to do all of those live selling events here on this main channel. And I found out that YouTube doesn't like the mix of that. So to help preserve my channel and then also do that for other people as well, we've joined forces and made one place for you all to go to find all this fun stuff that we buy to resell. Now this, I do believe, what do they call these? Like a butter mold or is it like a shortbread mold? These, I, I can't tell how old it is though. It, something about it is telling me it's not, it's not antique for sure. I think it's a, it's a vintage reproduction of an antique piece. For $3.99, I kind of like it. I'm going to get it. See what else is hiding under here, if anything. Another plate. That looks like some really, really old ink. Oh my goodness. I wonder if there's a date on that. It's kind of cracking me up. I don't. Oh yeah, 2002. I am pretty sure that ink uh, is a little expired. What is this? Oh. Oh, this is kind of fun. Ooh, this is kind of useful, actually. I've been dealing with a lot of jewelry lately, and I like the idea of it all, like, stacking up. $7.99. Needs a little cleanup, but it's not, it's not bad. This may actually have some pretty good resale value, too, but if it doesn't, either way, I can use this. Okay, we are in the metals kind of hard to see everything all blends in it's all the same color as the shelf itself so we got to really look closely make sure we don't miss anything like little little wire doodads oh they're little picture holders nothing special a, a milk bone collector's tin when is that from? I swear they try to make everything collectible. So, 21770, 2017, they put out a milk bone collector tin, which I guess would be kind of fun if you uh, had a border collie like that. Then it would be like your doggy on the milk bone thing, make him famous. All right, don't see anything else here. It's so odd to like go from all of the collectibles right into some of these tools and housewares types things. <laughs> I like this. Is it glass? Oh, that really is. I was hoping it was actually an acrylic aquarium. 
Hmm. No, 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 Danny. Just say no. We are going to set up a seahorse tank soon. Rachel's been asking and asking and asking, so I def definitely want to get it on the list of things to do very, very soon. What is that? Little fuzzy cactus. Little fuzzy cactus, dudes. I don't think I can justify paying $4 for those, but you don't often see little fuzzy cactus dudes. And I don't see anything in the vases tonight except maybe this one. You are from Portugal, CB2. I was really drawn to the color of it. It's got one tiny little glazed chip there. But overall condition is not bad, not bad. It's not an expensive vase though. It's maybe, I'm gonna say about $20 is what something like this would go for. So I think I'm gonna pass on it for tonight. I'm gonna try to get my sights set a little higher on things in this last couple weeks before Christmas. That looks like a uh, sea urchin, which is drawing me to it. But again, I don't need it. Oh, sometimes being disciplined is so hard. Nano BB doctor's quarters that looks like a vintage little sign brass pelican nautical ship antiques oh would it be like a ship's doctor is that what they're kind of referring to it's kind of fun i don't know how much of a market there is for something like that but we'll leave it and let somebody else find out on that one all right, nothing in the plastics tonight. Let's keep going. We got the crafty and party supply section. This wallpaper border caught my attention because it's got deer and a lake, wildlife, easy up, self, self adhesive borders. I am getting ready to put a border up in, not a border. Uh, I'm going to do like an accent wall with some of that. Um, peel and stick wall decal stuff. I am uh, just waiting to have a little free time to do it. Cute little Lilo and Stitch mini backpack for eight bucks. It's not lounge fly. If it was lounge fly, I'd be snapping this up. But it is Disney. I may look this up. I may look this at, what am I saying may? I'm gonna look this up. It's actually quite a pricey little backpack, so for $8, I'm picking this up. It's a little out of my niche, but Disney is not out of my niche, so that's why. That's why I can go a little astray when it comes to something like that. This is actually a really cool find. This is an actual sea fan. It says it's from the Bahamas. Uh, you can see it's broken off there at the stem, but the, the sea fan itself is in beautiful condition. And I decorate with uh, ocean theme in a couple of different rooms. So this one's coming home with me. And then we'll finish looking through the plates and dishes. Not seeing anything too enticing tonight. I do like the cobalt blue, but it has no lid. If it had a lid, I'd be tempted. All right, pots and pans and cookware. Look at somebody finished their deep fried turkey and then donated the pot. I bet you that's what happened there. Because why not? That's a big thing to store for a whole nother year. All right, nothing on this shelf. A whole bunch of mishmash. Pa la 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 la. <laughs> I gotta wonder who sits around and designs things like that every day. That's your job. That's your job is to come up with a coffee mug that makes people laugh. No, really, there's a job out there that is just for that. Let's see if there's any cool glassware. I do like the Di Serranos. I, I tend to pick up the ones that look like ice cubes. 
I don't know how these black ones do. Two bucks each. I don't know if that's a good price or not. I'll have to look when I'm home in front of the computer. Ah, there's some white ones too. All right, these are kind of fun little thumbprint pattern. The bumps are on the inside, so the outside is smooth. And we got some pretty ruby reds down here. I want to say these are anchor hawking. They make them in green also. Pretty nice glasses. If these were 99 cents each, I'd be scooping them up, but they are $3 each. And I'm not sure what these are going for these days. This store is close enough to me that if they were like a super, super hit, I could swing back by here in the morning and snag them after I've had a chance to look things up. I do, I just do better looking things up at my computer. Those are fun. You know these are pulling on me, right? You know these are pulling on me, but I'm gonna leave them. Also, remember, I am, I'm filming as I'm shopping, and when I have to stop, I have to go to another application, look things up, you know, then come back to the filming. It's a little, it's a little bit harder than just, you know, the average reseller going in and, and looking things up. So I do absolutely encourage looking things up while you're shopping. It's just for me, I prefer to do it from the comfort of my computer whenever possible. And most things I have a pretty good gut feeling on whether I should pick it up or not. That is uh, restaurant wear. More clear glass, but nothing of excitement. These are a cranberry flash, meaning that is not the color of the glass. You can see the little scratches there. That is the problem with these. Uh, this is a king's crown, or also known as inverted thumbprint. It was the thing in its day. Pretty little teapot and cups. It is signed in probably Japanese. Very nice, but they have each cup priced at $3 each. I've been fooled into doing that before and it did not go so well. I've picked up a lot of reams of paper at Goodwill over the year, but not the legal. I don't get the legal size. I don't think I print anything in legal size anymore. Does anybody? Do you still print anything in legal size paper? That's probably why it's ended up at Goodwill. This is a, this is a mirror. Like a bathroom mirror. $12.99. I bet that's a lot more than $12.99 if you go to buy that at, say, Home Depot. Holy smokers. Oh my gosh, here's like the rest of the, uh, the bathroom here. I think that is the back of a toilet. Well, there you go. Are these salt and peppers over here in the bathroom stuff? <laughs> they're grinders. And they're like old-fashioned... Uh, faucets. They're acrylic coal mason. I really like those for some reason. And they're not priced. Oh, here it goes. Should I get them? Should I get them? Should I not get them? They need a little bit of cleaning for sure. I'm kind of enamored with them and I've never seen them before. I think I'm going to grab them. Like sometimes some interesting things get put into their little bathroom section. So Never hurts to give it a look. Okay. Um, what the heck is this? I get it. It's like a lava lamp. But it's like this dual lava lamp. It's missing its top. This one doesn't have like the lava stuff in it. Like that one. So I'm a little, I'm a little perplexed on what that looks like when it's up and running. See if there's any other cool lamps that would be enticing. I don't really see anything. Hmm. And then look over here at the Sensies. This is where normally the Sensies are. Oh, that's too bad. That's broken and doesn't have its little top that's cute with the butterflies. 
It is Scentsy. That one, yep. That is Scentsy. That's a shame. That's a shame. Little butterfly got beat up. All right, we're at the art. Giving it a little once over. This catches my eye. And I see two of them. Let's see. Who are you? Palome? Palome? I think that says. $5.99. And there's two of them. Let's see, this one goes this way. So they go kind of like so. I, there's something really appealing about these. I'm going to pick these up. I always take a peek through all the large items too. I found some pretty interesting things. Some really useful things. That's a really cool bench right there. Hmm. Don't need a don't need a really cool bench though. You know what I am looking for? I am looking for one of those coffee tables that it's got cushions that push into it and it's got some storage so it could be like our game table. This I know I'm I'm sitting here looking at a coffee table that makes no sense of what I'm explaining because it doesn't look anything like that. But it's it's a square and then the cushions push in, like there's four cushions, they push underneath and then the top opens for storage so we could like put games in there. So I'm on the lookout for that. That's what I want. Wow. Look at the colors on that and the drips. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. It's probably like some million dollar like painting. But does it go this way? Or does it go this way? I don't know. I don't know. It's uh it's interesting. It's fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Yeah. Interesting. Alright, let's take a peek through the textiles. What is that? Is that an apron? Oh, that's an apron. That's like a California sunflower label. Bright and colorful. We got some roosters. Those are nice quality. They're not marked. See, what I look for is if they have like a crate and barrel, pier one, something that will give them the value when you go to list them versus a generic you know, a placemat with chickens or roosters because generic placemats with roosters could have some value, but if they are Crate and Barrel or Pier One or one of those better bougie brands, they are going to bring a lot more money. Like these are WC Designs. Probably not so much because they were, they were only $7 to begin with. But wait, how old is that? Robinson's May. That's probably a really old price though. Those probably are vintage and they're adorable, but we're going to leave those for somebody else. Keep looking just a little bit. I just feel like this season already is just blazing by. Like I just got my Christmas decorations up and I'm already thinking about, you know, there's only a couple weeks left Christmas and then we're taking it all down again. Like what is happening? Is this just like a thing that happens the older we get? the time just screams by is that a pillow cover oh my goodness it's a pillow cover is that like a pillow cover for like a body pillow it's like for a big pillow he's really cute really cute but don't need him all right i don't think there's much else here that we need. Let's keep that one. Boy, that looks like some really nice fabric. If you reupholster things, there's quite a bit of it on this. Wouldn't that make a beautiful chair? I mean, this is beautiful too. Like this kind of a teal, green, blue. Oh man, that's it's really nice. What do they have on that? 30 bucks. Okay, they know it's really nice. That's uh that's really nice. I said that, I know, but I'm feeling it. Looking through the purses, and uh, it's interesting. I see this one, Carolyn Rudin. That's a very, very specific buyer. 
for that purse, I'm thinking. It's a shame because this is like a really high quality leather suede. Oh, look at that, it comes off. I mean, somebody could, they could replace that with something else. They could do something there. But uh, I'm sure that's why it's here at half price. Okay, camera off, I'll put that back together. Now, doesn't it seem like when they were embroidering the little Hawaii name on there, they kind of ran, they, like, they went a little big on the W, kind of ran out, they kind of squished in, squished in those little eyes. I'm just saying. All right, we're up at the case and seeing, well, this is where they kind of put some better purses, but they're going to have better prices too. That's also where the jewelry is. So just taking a peek. I don't see anything in these bracelets, but we're going to look over there too. I like to kind of stand back first and see what grabs my attention, like that blue beaded one. I might look and see what those beads are made of. That's really the only one grabbing me. It really, really is. I'm, I'm being a little pickier on the jewelry pickups just because I have a lot. I've gotten a bunch of mystery bags and mystery boxes and, and all these mystery jars that I have to go through. So trying to be self-disciplined and not add on any more jewelry unless it's super special. Well, I think that is going to complete our uh, little adventure through Goodwill. I'm going to head to the checkout. Stay tuned for a recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now. Oh yeah, and I'm going to show you at the end a little Christmas decor. We have the whole Rudolph and the Misfit Toys. Oh wait, we <laughs> Jack in the box down. There you go, buddy. <laughs> hey, you're all good. I've added a few bits and pieces over the years, like the little purple hippo and the dragons. Obviously, they were not part of the original story, but they fit. They work. You know, we got a few deer in the mix. <gasps> Santa. Santa down, Santa down. <laughs> it's okay, we'll fix him later. We got this Santa, it's okay. You know, Santa with a horse because we're all about horsies around here. But I don't know, you might see him over there in the distance, the creme de la creme, stand by. Yes, it is my, it is my 12 foot bumble, abominable snowman. Oh yeah, we got a little Noel going on the roof, but it's, uh. <laughs> We gotta get up there and uh, put a little tie on it because it's 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 had a little issue with the wind. It's kind of it's it's Noeling forward, but but he's the star. He's the star right there. He's the one that you know everybody loves. Everybody loves a bumble. Everybody loves a bumble. And in case you weren't exactly sure, <laughs> just how big he was, like. Like, here's my, here's my hand. Like, no, he's, he's a big dude. He's uh 12 foot, 12 foot high. Oh yes, he roars. 